up? It's Val. So for today's video, I thought I would do a how-to. You know how to do a party, how to have a bougie party, how to basically be good at hosting parties and everything because I think it is an art. I think you can be bad at it. I think you can be good at it. And according to my friends, I was good at my uh, last party. It came my first party ever. So I'm doing another one actually, and it's coming up real soon. It is a happy holiday party. I'm hosting it. And yeah, so I thought I would just share some tips and tricks and hacks, if you will, for parties and what I think a good host should be doing. And also too, essentially I'm going to be showing you guys how I get ready for the party. There's going to be a little vlog part action to this, so I'm getting ready for that stuff. But yeah, so um, get excited. I'm excited. The party I'm doing, it's coming up this upcoming weekend. I'm filming this part, you know, to like tell you guys what I'm doing and then you'll see me doing it at the actual day of. But yeah, so for me, the first thing that I do for parties is obviously invite the people, but I give them about a month in advance just so then they can book off time from work if they usually work that day or they can figure something out or like, you know, they can figure it out within a month. A month is a good time frame, but also too, um, don't give them too long because I literally put the invites on Remembrance Day or a day before then, so that was like the 10th or the 11th of November. My party is on the 9th of December, it's a Saturday, and so I gave people almost a month. Like, you know, maybe a few days off, but like basically a month to figure it out, play around it, do what they have to do, and so yeah. So just give your invites out and also to get yourself prepared and like, you know, figure out stains with work. And yeah, that's kind of the first step, I guess. <laughs> So for me, then the second step is to really start thinking about what you're going to do at the party. You definitely don't want to plan every single little thing at the party. Like, oh my God, at 6.20, we're going to go and play Twister. Oh my God, and then at 6.30, we're going to go and eat. Like, no, no, you can't do that. You can definitely plan a few things. Like I said, I'm going to be having a Twister game set up because we did that actually at our last one and it lasted for hours. And also to just do one extra little thing too compared to last time because people like seeing new things because at the parties me and my friends do personally, we're more of like a just sit down talk type of group and like, you know, that's our party type of thing with music playing. We just talk and like, you know, but when I introduced in the Twister game, people were still able to just sit and talk around them and the people who did want to play, they were able to play and one guy decided to be like, red foot red. <laughs> and as a two, like I said, me and my friends, we personally just like to stop, uh, chat since we're all so busy. So have some snacks nearby. The table I'm on too, I'm gonna be having some snacks just like how I have this here for me right now. Uh, boom trigger pop, the white chocolate and peppermint. By the way too, you should totally just go and see me taste test this in my tasting peppermint video. But yeah, so have some things out, uh, have some chips out, have some popcorn out, have maybe a little hors d'oeuvres or something, like you know, do what you th is good for you and your group. But yeah, so just trying out a few cute little things here and there is a really good idea. But then again too, if you and your friends have like a stick down, like you know, run down that you usually do, just do that thing. You don't have to do what I'm saying, but I'm just here like, I have a new cool little thing to do. Have a waffle bar has some Twister game going on. Or like, I don't know, have a Nintendo Switch tournament thing. Like I'm thinking about buying more controllers for my Switch just so then I can actually have some of a tournament with like Mario Kart or something. Cause we played Mario Kart and uh, it was fun, yeah. Wherever you really you think is good to do, you should just do it. But yeah, and also too, during parties, just be a good host, introduce people in, talk to them, get to know them a little bit, take their coats and stuff when they come in, especially if it's actually winter where you are. Like so far we have no snow here, so I'm hoping I don't have to worry about snow coming in, but I don't want to jinx it, so. <laughs> but yeah, just be nice and curious to all your guests. And if you don't know someone, go up, introduce yourself, and just be like, hi, I'm Val, I'm hosting a party. Who do you know here? How'd you get here? I'd love to learn more about you. And just like, you know, be nice, cause then too, if something happens, Happens, they'll be more open to communicate with you and not just be like, oh shit, we can't let Val know. Like, you know, yeah. And just have some things on hand too, in case something does happen. Like I have a plunger nearby the bathroom already. Basically, I'm trying to reduce the fact of that lamp from Wizards of Waverly Place because that lamp broke so many times and I do not want that to happen to me. So I'm taking away easily breakable things, putting them away. I'm actually putting away the chairs that are in here too. Just be prepared in case people do decide to stay over for the night or if you think they should not leave your house, be prepared to keep people in your house. Have some blankets and pillows and like, you know, a closet nearby or like right in the beginning of the basement or up beginning of the upstairs somewhere so then you can really accommodate for them because I do not want people to get hurt because of me and if I can just be like, hey, I'd really suggest it if you stay here. Um, I have a couch or like I can even be like, I have a bed upstairs, I have a bed downstairs. Uh, let me just help you bring you there and I can help get you set up. And But yeah, so just take care of your guests 
us and then they'll take care of you and tell you if something bad goes wrong and also too if when you're the host you can drink obviously have fun but don't like you know get drunk yourself because you want to be able to take care of other people and their drunken state so yeah one major last thing just have fun people as much as i'm saying take care of your guests and everything but make sure you're having fun make sure everyone is having a good time and just take care of them and also make sure you're having fun like i said you can drink just don't get drunk like you know have fun but yeah i think that's it for everything today if you guys learned something or if you like something you just as you saw definitely give this video then a thumbs up to let me know and also to comment down below what you do for parties maybe i missed something maybe i should be adding something to my parties uh because yeah i'd love to try something new next time hit the subscribe button down below if you haven't already there's gonna be more holiday videos here aka the holiday videos so that is all for today's video thank you guys all for watching i love and appreciate you all just make sure to hit the thumbs up button down below comment down below sometimes maybe i miss for parties maybe i miss something what do you think i should add next time tell me down below boy or girl and i'll see you guys here next time with another new video i love and appreciate you all and i'll see you guys here next time bye what up youtube <laughs> don't forget to like comment subscribe don't forget to smash that like button for turn more. on the bell button or hit the bell notification button <laughs> support me on patreon Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Um, subscribe for free shipping. <laughs> um, yeah, that's all, YouTube. <laughs>